In an earlier tutorial, we showed you how to make a behavior referral, how to, uh, after you've sent a student out of the classroom for violating one of your classroom rules or a school rule, uh, what to do with them. Now, it's always important that you follow up with a phone call home. Well, how do you find out the student's phone number? And then, how do you log your contact with the parent? Well, there's a couple of things you could do. First of all, from the behavior referral, go up here to this arrow next to student information. And under that, you'll notice the word general pops up. Now, we'll be coming back to this one, this subcategory under counseling in just a second. So let's click on general and notice that the same student that I had just referred out pops up. Now if that if it doesn't happen what you can do is do a search right here and type in the last name click go and this student will be found here. Alright so right down here as you can see I have a phone number for the mother right here so I'm gonna make a phone call and tell the mother that I had to refer her daughter out and the reasons for it and ask the parent to uh, deal with the uh, student at home one-on-one. -on -one. Then I want to record the fact that I made that phone call. So I click on counseling and general. Now the student's name is still right here. Now I want to click on contact log. Now you'll notice that right away past contacts that I've made, in fact really any teacher has made with that parent, should be listed right here. You'll notice that back on the 6th of October of 2014, I called her dad and said what a joy she is in class and what else she is doing. Well now I want to add a new contact. And this time, this bottom window has the date and the time and uh, you might want to correct the time uh, for, to the time that you actually made the phone call because as you can see right here, it used the timestamp of, uh, of right now when I uh, am making this video. So uh, let's say I called the mom home. So I'm going to telephone and click uh, type in the word mom. And then under details, now remember I in my last uh, in my last video I showed you how I copied the information for the referral so now I'm going to say told uh, uh, told uh, Gabby's mom and I'm gonna paste in the same information that I had copied in the referral so there it is again so as long as that's what you've done, that's all really you need to write in the in the contact log. Now let's suppose mom um, uh, mom wasn't home. I had to leave a voicemail. Well then, right here, um, you know, uh, left a, a voicemail, you know, and uh, you know, or, or whatever it was. Or let's and several of our students' parents do have do have emails. You can also uh, you know click here, and uh, and then click email, and then you could uh, actually copy and paste uh, the the email itself right here under the detail box. But when that's done, you'll want to go up here to save, and there it is. My new contact is right here. Be sure that you do this after all of the referrals, or for that matter, you're just making phone calls home uh, to talk to the parents about the student's performance in your classroom. Make sure that you log, make a contact log for all contacts that you have with parents.